Hello and welcome back to Becky's House of Sewing. Um, this is my YouTube video cast based on uh, all things thread and needle. Uh, where you will never be without a needle here at Becky's House of Sewing. So uh, we look forward to having you come visit. Uh, so I'm live from my craft room again. Um, I still have not overtaken the whole house as my master plan but one day. Um, I, it's Wednesday, November 17th, which is a very significant day. It is the day my parents have been married for 54 years. Yay! Happy anniversary, Connie and Wayne. Um, you, you've done it. Good job. As my dad said, his, uh, he stayed alive long enough to be married 54 years. All right, so God help us. Today, I needed a nap. I took a nap. I feel like I need another nap. And I feel like I'm on project overload. But there's Buster, so Buster's around. I really, poor Pearl, she doesn't get much uh, much uh, uh, show in here. I do have another animal. Her name is Pearl. She's a 17 year old, beautiful white cat. Very little, very petite, very senior. Um, I'll insert some pictures because she's adorable as well. But she's not as loud as Buster. Buster's coming in to check in on me. Um, so today was Wednesday stitching. We uh, had a lovely time. We welcomed back my mom's cousin and my cousin by proxy, um, uh, Neil. So welcome back. Here, give me a Buster. Look at that cute, look at that cute face. Look at, oh, so cute. What do you have on your non-eye area? <laughs> All right, yes, I know. Okay. I digress. Sorry, but he came in. He was prancing around. He's adorable. Um, so I, I did not cross-stitch today. I uh, was continuing to dissemble a pair of jeans for a project that I would like to do. I'd like to do a deconstructed um, denim jacket quilt, um, which basically entails taking, um, well, I talked about it last week, I think, um, making strips out of the denim that I have, out of my worn jeans, um, possibly embroidering some of them, um, but uh, sewing them into eight and a half inch squares um, by using two and a half inch strips. That's the goal. And then I'll um, use the fence rail uh, design where the lines go this way and this way and all the way across um, and see how many I come up with. So um, it takes a long time. And I listened to Craft Industry Alliance. I couldn't remember the name of the podcast when I was talking about this to the ladies today. The Other Stitchers. Uh, Craft Industry Alliance with Abby Glassenberg. Highly recommend that podcast. Um, you get to hear a lot of different things. I was introduced to a quilter named Zach Foster, which um, some of you may already know. I hope you do. Follow him on Instagram, Z-A-K Foster. He's a very cool guy. Uh, he has these little mini zines that you can buy for like three dollars and print up and then fold. It's like a craft within a craft. It's it's a beautiful thing. Um, so I bought the one that talks about dissembling jeans because he does a lot of memory quilts. So he talks about uh, dissembling shirts as well. I bought that one uh, for future projects. You never know. So I've been uh, doing that. It's taken me probably five hours to dissemble one, um, one pair of jeans because there's a lot of seams in there. But I've got some cool pieces, and, you know, as the denim has been folded and sewn, and you have the seams, and you've got some cool frayed areas, so I'm excited. So I couldn't wait, of course. Got Mom's um, AccuCutter out, AccuQuilt Cutter out, and I, I cut that one whole section, one whole pair of jeans up. Um, and then I thought I was going to start another project. I'm in, I'm in project starting overload like I have projects in my mind and like 
I just wish I could make them in my mind and then be done with them so I can do the next one. Because starting the project and seeing it completed are the two best parts of doing the job. Um, but everything takes so long. I like long projects. However, I need to, I, I need, I'm not focused. I don't know if you can tell in this video already. I'm, I'm already all over the place. Um, so while I'm at all over the place, um, let me show you what I bought this week. Um, I, I can't remember. I don't think I showed this last week. I don't think I had this because I just got it a couple days ago. So this is the Roaring Twenties quilt. This is just a picture of the rose. Um, so I really like solids. I really like that graphic uh, design that they come up with. Very cool. Um, but what I loved most about it is that it's pepper, Corey's peppered cottons, um, which I have always wanted to use and never had the right thing or I haven't bought any yet. Um, so here, here's, this is how it came. <laughs> Look how pretty. So Pepper, Pepper Corey is a quilter. Um, who I have a odd connection with. Her niece also works at the container store. Um, and when our store went public, our company went public, my mom posted something. Pepper Corey posted something. My mom has taken classes with Pepper, so she followed her. They're like, oh, how do you know the container store? Oh, well, my, my daughter works there. Oh, well, my niece works there. And lo and behold, we were in the same role. Um, so I was able to connect with her and then we got to work together some and then I got to go help a store open and then we got to meet and we've stayed in loose touch since then. Um, so that's been fun. You know, you have to be careful. My mom knows everyone. So you have to be on your best behavior because she'll know that person if you don't. Anyway, I digress. So shock cottons. I don't know if you can tell in some of these. So shock cotton is um, where the weft and the weave are two different colors. Um, and they are woven together in such a way that they um, appear to be one color. So they're super cool. This is a really good uh, uh, a example. Let's see if I can turn another light on and see. Oh, can, can you tell it's kind of near distant? look and you can see kind of a peachy color and a yellow color that's what we mean oh turn that light off ah, blind blind so i'm anxious to get cutting on this i think i got this it must have been friday or saturday night because i wanted to cut cut into it on sunday and it just didn't happen no one cut it into it today i don't think it's gonna happen <sighs> life why why can't i be you know uh, you know, why? I don't know. There's not enough time in the day. Not enough time in Buster's life to eat and be in, be in bed. Just kidding. I digress. Um, I did get a little stitching done. So one day I will get this going. I'm sorry. I'm all over the place. Um, I have vacation coming up and I think that's probably part of my, my issue. I have a vacation coming up like the first week of December and um, I plan to stay home and lock myself into my sewing room and only come out for food. <laughs> um, oh, and oh, I mean, I can do stitching from here, I'm sure. So my goal is to kind of just have lots of things in the mix and work on lots of things. Um, who knows if that just goes into overload and, and whatnot. But anyway, so uh, this Roaring Twenties quilt, is high on my list on plans. My deconstructed denim jacket, high on my list of plans for my vacation. And that honestly probably is enough uh, to keep me plenty busy because I'm not the fastest of sewers. However, of course I have another project. I want to make a purse. I have a purse in my head. Um, I don't have a pattern, which is probably my first problem but it's basically a zipper pouch with gr grommets on the end so that I can make a strap 
and uh, attach it to it. It's really, it's, I mean, I've made a million of those before in the past, so it's just a matter of finding the fabrics and then committing. And then I was watching on Instagram, so, um, so, so hippie. No, you're not going to remember. But um, she's she's on Instagram. I follow her a lot. And she is, uh, I know So and Hippie is in her um, name. So you can just start typing that in. She made a dog leash out of strips of fabric. And I have a ton of fabric that I could totally do that with. And now I'm having a hard time committing to it what fabrics to make and how to make this strap. So of those three projects, plus my cross stitch, we'll see if anything gets accomplished the second week of December. We shall see. Um, I have worked on a uh, token of fall. So let me get this back out. I have it in page protectors because that's how I like to have my, my patterns. Um, I, don't, I can't show you the pattern, but I put the pattern pages in there and then I can take it out and kind of attach it with my needle minder and kind of follow along. That helps me out. So token of fall. So pretty. I've been uh, wishy-washy about this as well. So I've come to the conclusion. I do not like the Weeks Dye Works dark blue. I want to like it. I don't like the coverage at all. Um, so let, let's go down that journey, shall we? Let me first show you my progress. Look at my pig, when pigs fly needle minder. Isn't that adorable? So I got all the way across. Yay. Yay me. Um, so we're, we're in perfect shape with materials. We're good to go. Um, I had to, this is the first part of the leaf. I've, that's the second attempt on that guy. And it's the second attempt on some of these letters. But, um, so let me tell you, I bought the anchor, bought the anchor thread. Um, and I tried it, uh, as you may remember, um, this is 36 count and I was doing one over one. Um, but the problem was I didn't like the coverage with the letters for sure with the one over one. So I figured the letters are small enough or simple enough motifs, individual motifs, that I could do two over one. Um, two over two. I'm not doing two over one. Uh, so I did uh, the, which also allows me to do the loop method start, which I really enjoy. Um, so I, that's what, that's why I started. And I, I really like how that's turning out. So the, mm, you can't really see the lighting is getting weird because it's, Sadly, wintery time, and the light goes down. So I, I'm not loving the darker blue coverage, which, although in the picture, in the video, it's looking fine. But when I look at it, I'm not really liking it. So the point of the story is I bought Gloriana Thread. Um, so I bought two skeins of it because there's five yards and that's, they gave me two skeins when I had this kitted up for the bird, uh, just to make sure I had enough. So it will be my first attempt with silks. I have not had them come in yet. So I'm going to see how I like the coverage one over two with the silk and if that makes any difference to me. Um, I am undecided if I'm going to pull out what I've currently stitched. I might just leave it in. Um, because I don't know if you remember, but over here, hmm, the lighting is, I'm, I apologize. I, I'm apologetic. Uh, the uh, light blue over on this side um, was also a week's tie works. And I wasn't loving the saturation of color in that one. So I bought the DMC. Like the DMC coverage and saturation much better. So I know I can go get DMC of the dark blue anytime I want. So I'm just going to wait and see if the Gloriana works. Who knows? I may have another third change. I have never 
been so indecisive about threads or colors or whatnot. I don't know what it is about this particular one, but I love it. I want it to look a certain way. I want it to be pow, wham, bow, pow. So we're just gonna have to, we're just gonna have to roll with it. So I look forward to by next week being able to tell you if I like the silk, we'll go and go from there. Um, so it might mean that I have to finish the leaf so I can get to the bird and see how I like it. Not a problem for me because I am anxious to get to the bird. So that's about all I've done. I haven't done anything else really. I haven't completed much. I haven't sewn much. I've done a little cross stitching every night. Um, and I didn't even stitch during Wednesday stitchers because I was deconstructing jeans. And I was flitting about planning and getting new projects started in my head, which won't let me go, which is a good thing. I mean, it's exciting. It's creativity. It's uh, getting the juices going uh, on my creativity. So I've, I've enjoyed uh, thinking and dreaming. Um, but now, now the frustrating part is I can't get them done fast enough to see them in person. I want to hurry up and get them done. So we'll go, we'll go from there. I can get it all done eventually. It's not a race. I have a long time. So I guess that's going to conclude today's episode. Um, I can't wait to see you next week, which is the week of Thanksgiving. Um, I hope that this next week you can think of all the things that make you grateful and um, excited to be around family and what foods you like to eat and bring you comfort um, and how maybe sewing makes you have a lot of comfort and ease of mind. So I hope that you have all those good things this week and I will see you next week. Bye.